Welcome everyone to Ocean City, Maryland, where people are already setting up their chairs and enjoying the solar eclipse. Now, it just started a few minutes ago here on the Maryland coast, and in fact, it was 2.05 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and the maximum eclipse that we'll get will be about 84% here on the Maryland coast. And it should be enough to notice a recognizable difference in the amount of sunlight. We had one a few years ago, I think it was in 2017, I'm going to take an educated guess there, and it was definitely noticeable. And as you can see, skies are perfectly sunny. There's not a cloud in the sky. So this should be interesting to see just the different kinds of shadows that we'll be able to see. I don't have any special equipment for uh, filming the eclipse up close, but we'll try to capture the scene here for the next hour or so. We're about 23 minutes into the eclipse and the maximum magnitude will be around 321 p.m. at about 84 percent and well one gentleman has set up a nice Celestron telescope. I'm with Steve and he's going to tell us about his Celestron telescope and what he's capturing today. Hi everybody, my name's Steve. I'm from Baltimore. Came out to Ocean City because it was less clouds out here. A little bit, but nothing to get in the way of today's solar eclipse. And of course, with the solar eclipse today in Ocean City, we're not going to experience totality, but instead we're going to see a partial eclipse, which means most of the sun is going to be covered by the moon. What does that mean for us if we're just kind of looking around? Not a whole lot. It might get a little bit darker here, but not much. But through a telescope, or through solar eyeglasses, um, you are able to see the moon moving across the face of the sun. And it's happening right now, and I've got this little nifty telescope for people to stop by to check it out. And the telescope is a Schmidt Cassegrain telescope called SCT from Celestron. It's a six inch SCT. And it's got on the front of it a solar filter, which is a uh, heavy dark film so that it won't burn out the eye, the, uh, the eyepiece here, your eye, any, electric, any of the uh, aperture within in the telescope itself. And uh, it gives us a good view. Currently right now, the moon is covering a good part of uh, the sun right now. Um, it'll become maximum later. And uh, that's uh, about it at the moment. I'm also doing some uh, video time lapses and imaging with some other telescopes I have here, some smaller ones. Well, that's fantastic. And you said, Steve, that you have a monitor set up as well. Yeah, let's walk around. So the, let's go back, take let's a look at that. This, this way back here. See if we can pick it up. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's still very bright because of the sun. But if you can kind of zoom in, find a good sweet spot, you can see that oh, the yeah. moon is now covering the sun. Absolutely. So I have a little telescope that is sending a signal to this TV showing um, the sun. It's locked onto the sun right now. And that black spot on there, that big black spot is the moon. The smaller black spots are sunspots. So if you can see them in the video, those are sunspots which are increased activity on the sun. Thanks so much, Steve. You are and quite well. I think we'll try to maybe he'll let us come back here when we reach our maximum of around 84 percent sure absolutely come all right, right back and we'll do it again we'll look it again we'll check back with you steve Thank you. we're about 30 minutes from our maximum of the 84 percent and here is a, another gentleman has set up two telescopes right here at the inlet jetty it does seem like it's getting just a little bit darker. It's going to feel a little bit like a hazy August day in about a half an hour. And here 
you can see more people lounging in chairs and sky gazing. We're back with Steve and we're just about at the maximum eclipse that we're going to get here on the Maryland coast. So yeah, if you look at our monitor here, you can see that we've got what looks like a crescent moon, but that's actually the sun with the moon right in front of it. So we're about at the maximum. What's gonna happen now is that the moon's gonna to start to pull away, or to us it'll look like it's pulling away. Um, it's just heading in this direction as it's going past the sun. If we were in the period, the track of totality, you would actually see this, the moon continue to move to cover the sun. We're not having that. However, since we last spoke a little bit ago, the sun is getting covered so much that it's actually a little darker here. It's like a, like almost like a shadow. Not a shadow. It's definitely darker. It's definitely and, darker. and you know what, Steve? Hazier. That's why I wanted to start filming right at a little bit after 205 right. because my, the naked eye can definitely see it's like a real hazy august day is what yes. it feels like yes 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 it's almost like a cloud is covering the sun a little bit yes like right right and you, can, you can definitely sense that is a very weird feeling to be out here in broad daylight and just see it just not look as bright and crisp in yes. Ocean City as it would normally do. Right, that's how I remember it back seven years ago. Kind of like a little twilight. Yeah. yeah, this is so cool. Thanks so much, you Steve, for showing us and educating us. Danny, I'm hey, glad you came out. And, and you know and, what? Uh, hey, everybody, like I've said before, just get out there and explore because, look, today we're learning about astrophotography right here on the beach in Ocean right City, here. Maryland. You can do it anywhere, and this is a great place to do it. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.